A hero is a hero is a hero is a hero is a hero to me is a hero is a hero is a hero is Superman. A hero is an extremely difficult word to nail down into just one or two different ideas. To me, a hero could be, and this this is all um, depending on what kind of mood I'm in. Anyway, uh, a hero to me is, are could be anything from someone being strong enough to be who they are in spite of the pressures that surround them. When it, when when I think about kids your age being heroes, I, I think about them being true to themselves and and doing what's best for them in spite of the pressures and the critiques of their peers. Uh, to me, a hero is someone who is willing to basically sacrifice their own personal benefit for the the benefit of the group or the uh, other people involved with it. A hero is a selfless person who consistently gives up his body, whether it is physically or mentally, to help serve others around him. A hero is someone that exemplifies the qualities of courage and compassion, and doesn't do it for himself, but does it for others, who's also sensitive and caring. A uh, hero to me is someone who is kind, uh, helps his community out, um, but, does it, but does it for the community and not for himself. A uh, hero is someone who's committed to helping others, even if it hurts themselves. And anyone can do that at any time, but a hero has to be opportunistic and take advantage of those opportunities. Well, a hero is uh, someone who's compassionate towards others, and someone who knows right from wrong, and that will demonstrate that they are human themselves, and that they make mistakes, but they learn from them. bike ride down to the waterfront and uh, was just hanging out, relaxing on a bench uh, when it happened, when it all went down. I think I should call 911. Yeah, call. Call 911. Call. He was trying to swim to a dock, which was, I don't know, 50 feet out from the shore. I noticed he wasn't a strong swimmer. I was concerned you know, that he wasn't going to make it to the dock. And that's when he pretty much stopped and um, was sort of started to flail. And that's when I jumped over the rail, took my clothes off, <laughs> and uh, jumped in. That was it. Some guys drowning down here at their attack. I really was trying to keep his head out of the water. I don't think he had much, much uh, strength left. Um, and like I said, I, I just tried to turn him on his back and, and try to keep his head out of the water. But I, w I was having a lot of trouble keeping my head out. I realized the only way I could get him to the shore was if I just separated myself and used his jacket and just swam with him that way. So his head was underwater, so I knew as soon as I got 
to shore that he would be unconscious and probably not have a pulse because it was, you know, at least two minutes swimming to get to the shore. Oh my gosh, this guy's passed out. We need somebody here right now. One guy helped me pull him up and I started chest compressions. I checked his pulse and uh, just started started CPR. I think it was just one of those those situations where you just sort of on instinct and you just know you just know what has to be done sort of like I just knew I had to get to that guy. I feel thankful that I could could help him out and I was in the right place um, to be of uh, assistance. for a better life. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Taxi! When you can't do it all, do what you can. Compassion for others. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. 